Camps, all camps, all camps. Shalom came from Japan. All praises. All praises. Yeah, I'm calling all camps. All camps, man. Y'all seen, seen our brothers at WFI, the Watchmen, get attacked by them Palestinians in, in, in Chicago. I'm calling all camps to pull up this Saturday, man. This weekend, man. Round two, goddamn. You know what I'm saying? We need to stand by our brothers and pull up. We finna pull up, all right? And we, we want round two. We want the smoke with the Palestinians, with the Israelis, calling all camps. We finna pull up. We finna pull up for our brothers at Watchmen. We finna pull up for our brothers at Watchmen. And, 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 and we going in, goddamn. We going in. I need I need about an hour and a half to, to flame them bastards. I need an hour and a half speaking time. I'm telling you that right now. We need all the brothers, all the camps to line up. I'm calling I'm calling all camps. Shalom. All praise to the most high. Yahweh by Shem Yahushai by Shem And double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching this truth that's gone all around the earth. Shalom to the hope of the elect. This your brother, Atazawan Bayad. And, um, yeah, terrible idea, all right? And by now, most of you have seen this clip, right, with the so-called Chief Ephraim calling all camps, all right? Terrible idea. It's not something that we condone, all right? Violence is never a good thing, okay? Particularly... In this day and age, okay, because what you're supposed to be is a prophet, right? The prophets, the real prophets, okay, and teachers who are on the highways and hedges, all right, particularly men of the Great Millstone and like minded brothers, all right. We're not here, all right, to fight anybody's physical battles, okay. And it's a bad idea. Uh, potentially, you get a lot of people hurt. All right. So uh, this is just going to be my uh, response. Okay. As I took that clip from the elder Manatha Zakbar from GMS South Carolina. Okay. And um, so I decided to put a few scriptures together and, and give my response as well as uh, other brothers, okay? So I'm going to start off right here in 1 Timothy 6, all right, and verse 11, and it reads, But thou, o man of the Most High, flee these things and follow after righteousness, godliness, faith, love, patience, meekness. You see, this is what you're supposed to be doing right now. Going on to verse 12, it says, Fight the good fight of faith. Lay hold on eternal life, whereunto thou art also called, and has professed a good profession before many witnesses. So like, let me uh, let me switch my glasses here. Y'all forgive me. <clears throat> uh, we'll go back to verse 12. It says, fight the good fight of faith, lay hold of eternal life, whereunto thou art also called, and hast professed a good profession before many witnesses. And that profession is being a prophet, being a teacher. We professing the words of Yahweh by Shem Yahushai according to the book. Okay. All right. This is our profession. All right. All right. You could also profess your faith, but this is also, also a profession for us as we do the work. Okay. Verse 13, I give thee charge in the sight of the Most High who quickeneth all things and before Mashiach Yahushai, who before Pontius Pilate witnessed a good confession, that thou keepest his commandment without spot, unrebukable until the appearing of our Lord Yahushai Mashiach. Okay. But we fight this good fight of what? Faith. Right? We don't physically brawl with people. Okay totally out of the question okay let's go over here to uh, 2nd Corinthians 
jump in right here in verse 3. I'm not going to make this real long. As I said, you know, other brothers have given their response, and so I'm following their lead, okay? 2 Corinthians 6 and 3, giving no offense in anything that the ministry be not blamed, right? So you don't get out here and start brawling with people, okay? Because we don't want to do anything to shed a negative light on the gospel of the how about shimmy out shot. Okay. When you have any kind of heated confrontation, hey, it's better to use wisdom and, 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 and uh, judgment. Okay. All right. Better judgment. Okay. To, to de escalate a situation, walk away from a situation, pack up and leave from a situation. If you believe there's going to be trouble, you know, just go the other way. Okay, there's no need to get physical, man. We, we're not a game. Okay. All right, so uh, let's go on to uh, verse four. It says, but in all things, approving ourselves as the ministers of the Most High. Right, we're ministers of the Most High. And we prove it by taking proper action. Okay. Pulling up is, is, is not the proper action. Okay. Giving an indication that you want to go tit for tat, sword for sword, rock for rock, not at this stage, no, okay? But in all things, approving ourselves as the ministers of the Most High in much patience and in afflictions and necessities and distresses and stripes, imprisonments, tumults, labors, watchings and fastings, by pureness, by knowledge, by long suffering, by kindness, by the Holy Spirit, by love and vain, by the word of truth. You see, when we have the word of truth, right? And this is what we need. This is all we need. We're here to preach, okay? By the power of the Most High, by the armor of righteousness on the right hand and on the left, by honor and dishonor, by evil report and good report of deceivers and yet true, okay? unknown and yet well known as dying and behold we live as chastened and not killed as sorrowful yet always rejoicing as poor yet making many rich as having nothing and yet possessing all things right okay so it doesn't matter <clears throat> how other people perceive us as men right right people think that you know we we're bums, we're, we don't have jobs, we don't have families, we don't have money, you know, uh, all these different things is, is really their per, uh, uh, perception, okay, that we can't fight, that we're cowards, um, all of these things, all right, okay, but doing the will of Yahweh by Shem Shai is what we're focused on okay so let people believe what they believe let them think what they think okay all right <clears throat> in a physical sense you know yeah we possess certain things there's many men who are very skilled you know hand-to-hand um, -hand combat brawling all right bare knuckling mma boxing Taekwondo, right? And there are those who are on the outside and their perception would think, oh, that, that dude don't look like he can do anything. You see? But that's not what we're here for. Yes, if it comes to a point where you have to defend yourself, well, that's a different story. But when you're going out there antagonizing, that's, that's, that's a horse of another color, per se, all right? This is Ephesians 6 and 13. It says, Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of the Most High, that you may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all, to stand. Stand therefore with your loins girt about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, take the shield of faith, right? We do everything according to faith. We stand out there week in and week out with our faith, putting our lives on the line to preach the gospel of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, right? We don't need 
to pull up on anybody. We don't need to carry any weapons to camp. We don't need to do any of that, all right? As just men, as much as we can be, we believe in faith that the Lord is protecting us, right? The angels are camped around about them as their scripture goes on to say, all right? Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. All right. Now let's go over here to 2 Corinthians chapter 10. And let's start right here at verse, <clears throat> verse 3. It says, For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. Why? For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, right? Your weapons should not be carnal. We have the spirit of Yahweh Shem Yahshai. We have these scriptures. That's what we fight with. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through the Most High to the pulling down of strongholds, casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of the Most High, and bringing into captivity every thought to be to slag to the obedience of Mashiach. All right, and you have a vain imagination thinking that you can go out there and fight these people. All right. And then he mentions the Israelis. Okay, well, it, it wasn't the Israelis that Wi Fi got into it with. What does that have to do with anything? Okay. And, and he looked like he was drunk or high or something anyway. That's just my opinion. He may not have been. He may look that way all the time. I don't know. But Chief Ephraim looked like he was on something. Okay. Going on to verse 6. And having it in a readiness to revenge all disobedience with the obedience of fulfilled. Fulfill. Salaki, let me read that again. And having in and having in a readiness to revenge all disobedience when your obedience is fulfilled. Do you look on things after the outward appearance if any man trust to himself that he is Mashiach? Let him of himself think this again, that as he is a Mashiach, even so are we Mashiach. Okay? <clears throat> you belong to the Lord, then you do things the way the Lord has prescribed for you to do. Okay, and we follow Yahweh Shem Yahushai and through the Spirit, the guidance of our teachers, right? Being the apostles of Great Millstone. This is Zephaniah 3 and 8. It says, Therefore, wait ye upon me, saith the Lord, until the day that I rise up to the prey, for my determination is to gather the nations that I may assemble the kingdoms to pour out, Salaki, to pour upon them my indignation, even all my fierce anger. Anger for all the earth shall be devoured in the fire of my jealousy. Okay, so the point just being though, this is speaking about the nations. What do we wait upon the Lord, man? We don't go out there and try to settle things against other nation people. Okay, that's not that's not what you're here for. But when you're a carnal man, maybe that's what you are here for. Okay. Let's look at this. This is the Urban Dictionary and it says pull up, right? For those who may not know, okay, it says what? A threat. Synonymous to quote, drop your location, end quote, or want to fight. All right? That's what they call pulling up. That's what it stands for. So when you're saying you're going to pull up, that's what you mean. You're making a threat, right? You want to fight. Okay? Get a couple more here. It's First Timothy three, and we just go right to the point in verse three. All right, what you're not supposed to be given unto, okay? Not given to much uh, slack it. Not given to wine, no striker, not greedy or filthy lucre, but patient. Not a brawler, not covetous, okay? These are some instructions given to Timothy through the Apostle Paul, all right? You see, so you're not supposed to be a brawler, you know? You're supposed to be patient with things, 
Okay, and not covetous. And in this case, you're looking for what? Clout? You're looking for fame? You're looking for money? As to why you want to put a call out to so-called all camps to show up to do what? It doesn't make any sense. This is Exodus 23 and 2. Thou shalt not follow a multitude to do evil. Okay, that says enough. All right. But we'll read the rest of it. Thou shalt not follow a multitude to do evil, neither shalt thou speak in a cause to decline after many to rest judgment. Okay. So you can't follow wickedness. Right? That's not what you're supposed to do. All right. <clears throat> so this is what we'll be talking about to younger brothers and sisters who are coming into the truth and the faith. And you have to be very careful who you're listening to. This is why we tell you stick with the men of Great Millstone. Okay? Don't be camp hopping. Don't be listening to all these other guys because they look like they moored apart, because they look fancy, alright? Or because they, they look like they bout it, bout it. Alright? You're supposed to be a new creature. All right, this is Romans 9 and 1. And we'll read this and be done with it. Romans 9 and 1, I say the truth in my siak, I lie not. My conscience also bear me witness in the Holy Spirit that I have great heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart. For I could wish that myself were cursed from my siak for my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh, who are Israelites, to whom pertaineth their adoption, glory and the covenants and the giving of the law and the service of the Most High and the promises. Whose are the fathers and of whom as concerning the flesh Mashiach came who is over all Most High blessed forever. Amen. Verse 6. Not as though the word of the Most High had taken none effect for they are not all Israel which are of Israel, okay? So there may be Israelites out there, but not all Israel is of Israel, okay? The righteous men are going to show you who they are by their actions, okay? By what they do, okay? So I don't have much more on it after that, okay? Just be careful, to you younger brothers and sisters out there, be careful who you're listening to and who you're watching. All right, don't follow a multitude to do evil. And with that, I'll end the lesson right there. Giving all praise, honor, and glory unto you. How about Shem Yah Shine by Shem Yakafa God? Double honor to the apostles and elders of the Great Millstone. We'll see you all again real soon with another lesson. Lord willing, all right, be careful out there. And also, before I go, uh, slock you, um, going back to the Urban Dictionary, all right, because I don't know really what that all means, intent, what his intentions are, but you, he also used this phrase here, all right, want no smoke, all right, and again from the Urban Dictionary, it says, no problems, beef, conflict, animosity, uh, you lucky we ain't to throw them hands, right? And it goes on and it says what? What's the definition? Not wanting a problem can be used as, quote, giving them smoke, as in kicking someone's ass, all right, in a sport, basketball, or whatever, okay? But to use that term, they want that smoke, all right? So, it may not have literally said you know, that uh, you want to get physical, but it does sound as though you're implying you want some kind of conflict, all right? Which is really not a good idea, okay? So anyway, I just wanted to add that before I sign off. You know, I'm not saying that he said that he wanted to get physical, but that's what it sounds like.
okay? It's, it's not a good idea to um, give the implication that you want some kind of static, all right? So I'll end it right there, give it all praise again to y'all by some.